my name's Graham and I'm at Rimmers Music and today I'm going to do a different video for you. I'm going to talk you through the entire range of Yamaha home digital pianos that are floor standard. So basically the ones that look like uh, a normal piano design. So they start with the Yamaha Aureus YDP range. Now YDP stands for Yamaha Digital Piano and the great pianos to begin with. They're great if you already play. But if you wanted to spend more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what all the differences are in this slide that I've done. So the YDP145 is the first home piano in the Yamaha Digital Piano range. It has 10 sounds, it's got great polyphony, it has two 8 watt speakers. It's available in rosewood, black or in satin white as well. It looks a great piece of furniture, it has a lid, it has your three pedals. And it's a great entry level digital piano with a lovely sound and incorporates the Yamaha Grand Hammer standard key action. And what does that mean? They put a, a different weight on each key so it feels like an acoustic piano or it, as near as they can get for this price point. If you go to the next model up, they do a YDP165. And what I've done is I've highlighted in red here the extra features that you get. So you get a better key action. This has the graded Hammer 3 action on it with synthes synthetic uh, ebony and ivory tops. Well, what's that? Well, they can't use uh, ivory anymore. So what, what they are is basically a material that gives you a better grip on your keys. So you get a better key feel and you've got two 20 watt speakers as opposed to 8 watts. And you get an extra finish so you can get it in rosewood, you can get it in black, you can get it in uh, white ash and you can get it in white as well. Again, you get your three pedals and your lid. So that's the difference between the, the 145 and the 165. So yeah, basically it sounds better because of the speaker system and it feels better because of the key action. Now the next range that Yamaha do after the, uh, the Arius YDP is they do a YDP S range. So what's that? Well, the S range stands for slim. So they do a YDP S35, which is basically a YDP 145, but in a slim cabinet designed to fit into smaller spaces. So again, you get your 10 voices, your two 8 watt speakers. Uh, this time, this uh, is the lid. It sort of folds down and folds back. It's available in black, white ash and white. When you go to the S YDP, Yamaha Digital Piano Slim 55, what you gain there is again this uh, synthetic key top so it feels a bit better and you get 220 watt speaker systems. So basically 145, 165, S35, S55, the same models slim for normal size. So if we move on then, the next range up to that, which Yamaha have a, a acclaimed awards all over the world for this, is their Clavinova range. So that's their nickname for this range. So CLP stands for Clavinova Piano. And they start with the CLP 725, which is this one. So what do you get on there? Well, you get up from the YDP range, you get a better key action again. It's got the Grand Touch S keyboard. You get 220 watt speakers. It's also got more sounds on it. So the previous range incorporate the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano, which is £130,000, believe it or not, and they've put it inside the YDP and S ranges. In this, you get the concert grand piano, the CFX, but you also get a Borsendorfer Imperial piano sound in here as well, because Yamaha own Borsendorfer, which are another elite piano manufacturer. So in all the Clavinova ranges and everything above now, you get the Borsendorfer, the Borsendorfer piano sound in it as well. So, so what are you gaining on the CLP? On the 725 above the S range, you get a better key action. Again, they've put more time in to try and get that key action just that bit more realistic. And you're gaining extra piano sounds and a better quality sound. It comes in also polished ebony now as well, which is the shiny black finish, which looks a million dollars. Black, rosewood, and also in white. So if we go up from that in the CLP range to the 735, the 735, highlight in red here, Gives you binaural sampling. Sampling. Well, well, what's that? Well, basically, if you, if you use it through headphones particularly, it gives you a surround sound effect. And what they've done is used a mannequin with sort of microphones on its head when they've created the sound. I know it sounds a bit odd, but what it means is, is when they reproduce that sound, particularly through headphones, it sounds like it's on a grand piano where the sound's coming from over there. 
really fantastic feature. When you put headphones on, I get people go out. Have I got the headphones? I don't know. It, it really is that good. You get a few more voices. You've got 38 voices here. You've got a, a little screen display on the left hand side. It's a bit like a mobile phone for choosing your sounds and doing other things. You can connect up to apps, of course. You know, do the smart pianist apps, which, which can work in combination with these pianos. It's got uh, 30 watt, uh, two 30 watt amplifiers and two uh, six, 16 centimeter speakers. So basically, it's got a better cabinet design. As you can see, the cabinet's getting a bit more piano looking. It's a little bit taller. It has a better speaker system. So it's a better sound, better speaker system. And also, it's got some piano forte sounds in it. Well, what are they? They've tried to simulate sounds from the, the composers like Mozart when he made the, um, when he was composing. They've tried to make some piano sounds that sound like that. So at the end of the day, you've got a better sound, more finishes to choose from. You've got, um, Polished ebony rolls with black, dark walnut, white ash, and white now to choose from. Better speaker system, better feeling keyboard. And really, you get a lot more for the money when you go from the 725 to the 735. It really does leap a lot for what is not a lot more, really. So when you go from that to the 745, what have you got? You've got a better key action again, and you've now incorporated wooden keys into it. So that gives you that just slightly better feeling, particularly for the purist. You can certainly feel the difference and it, it, it really does play extremely well, the 745. You've now got Bluetooth on here. So you've got Bluetooth audio in, so you can Bluetooth, you know, music from your phone or your iPad or whatever through the speakers. And it's also got Bluetooth MIDI, which you can use in conjunction with the Yamaha apps or, or other apps or MIDI to other devices. So that if you could use it as a controller and things like that, just a little bit more efficiently. And you may not even use your hi-fi again. You could just play all your music through that because those speakers on here are absolutely superb. You've got 250 watt amps in here, so it, it really is good. You've got polished ebony, rosewood, black, dark walnut, white ash, and white to choose from. So from 735 to 745, in basic terms, what's the difference? Better speaker system, better key feel, wooden keys, and you've got Bluetooth. So we go to the 775, well, well why would I want a, a 775 then over the, the 745? Well, you've got a slightly better key feel with, with, with better grip. You've got um, an 88 key linear graded hammers now. So basically the key action is getting more and more realistic to feel like that grand piano, because that's what you're aiming for at the end of the day. It's got a better speaker system. It also has transducers in it. So what does that do? And it uses the cabinet resonance to create a better sound and use that as part of the speaker system. So like an acoustic piano, you have a soundboard on the back that resonates to create the sound. They're trying to then use this, but using a digitally, to pro digitally produced sound to give you that, that better sound and that just that more realism that you're looking for. And, and the feel on the keys as well, you can feel it right through to the keys. It's absolutely superb. So the 775, again, slightly different cabinet design. Oh, it has a nice, you know, a nice lid. It's available in polished ebony, rosewood, black, dark walnut, white ash, and white. So lots of colors to choose from to fit in with your furniture at home. But more importantly, it, the key action now is better. Better speaker system does make a difference. So it's got everything the previous model has, plus these extra things. We go to the 785, which we're proud to be an, an agent for. So uh, we sell this 785 is, is the model that we sell on behalf of Yamaha. And it's absolutely phenomenally good. Look at the cabinet design. Again, look, it's looking more and more like an acoustic piano. A beauty, beautiful finish. Absolutely superb key, uh, key feel. You've got counterweights on the keys now. And that, what, so what's that? Where's a weight on the other side just to make it feel more like a grand piano and respond faster and come back up faster so you get a better, faster response time than you did on the previous model. So again, for the purest player, you will feel the difference if you played from what, that one to this one. Remember, it's got everything the 775 got plus this extra counterweight. You get a few, you get a few more that sounds and but the speakers is oh my gosh the speaker system on this and the way it uses the cabinet resonance is beautiful it's available in polished ebony it's available in black and it's available in white so that's the clavinova clp 
So CLP, Clevinova Piano, they then do a couple of grand piano versions of these. So what are they? Well, they're not as big as a traditional uh, baby grand. They're designed to be maybe about half, about half the size. This one's smaller and the 795, which is the model up from that, is slightly bigger. So this is the seven, CLP 765. So you've got, basically, it's a 735, stroke 745 uh, in a grand piano uh, model look. So you, you, what you're paying for there is, is the look. So, and it does look a million dollars. It looks absolutely fantastic, but it's designed to fit into houses that maybe can't fit a full-size baby grand in, uh, or maybe you don't want the noise pollution of a baby grand, because obviously you can plug headphones into your digital piano. That's available in polished ebony and also in polished white. A 795 is a little bit bigger. Um, so we've got all the measurements on our website. They're all available in our stores and on our Rimmage Music website. So you can check all the full details out there. And we have video demonstrations on there as well. So what do you get better on the, on the 795? Well, you get a few more voices, but it's the key touch. You've got wooden keys now. The previous model was um, uh, plastic keys. This has the synthetic uh, feel for the grip and wooden keys. And it's got the, grip, the linear graded hammers as well. Uh, it's got counterweights. It's got a better uh, response on the damper pedal, so that's for your sustain. You can do part sustain on it, which is brilliant. A better speaker system. Um, so it's a basic, it's a little bit bigger, better key feel, better speaker system, and it does sound and feel better. Again, if you played them side by side, you would definitely feel the difference, and you would definitely hear the difference, and providing you could fit it in and, and afford the extra, yeah, you'd want the 795. <laughs> So now the next range uh, that's sort of a, a, a side range to this is they do a couple of uh, ranges. One called CSP, which stands for Clavin Orbit Smart Piano. So what are they? Well, fundamentally, when you look at them, they look just like a, a normal CLP, uh, like a, a CLP 735, for, for example. Uh, it's got a, a nice key action, it's got a great speaker system, it's got 230 watt amplifiers, it's got the GH3X graded hammer action, it plays great, it's available in ebony, black, uh, sorry, polished ebony, black or white. So, why do I want a CSP? Well, what makes it smart? Well, you can connect it up to uh, an iPad or an iPhone, and you can connect it to the Yamaha Smart Pianist app, and that allows you to have other features like rhythms and accompaniment. So you could split the keyboard and then say, have a, a rhythm backing going with your left hand. And while that's playing, playing the melody with your right hand, you can have songs playing. And it has a feature where it's got little lights above the keys, where if you don't play, or even if you do play, you can have songs playing. It shows your music up on screen and the little lights will just sort of drop down and show you which keys to play. Like on a, a bit like on a pianola. It looks absolutely fantastic. But also, it is useful. It's a useful teaching tool. It's a useful feature just to show your friends, go, oh, look what this can do. And when you connect it to your, to your iPad, you can have all those extra features, or you can just take your iPad away and just play it as, you know, a normal digital piano as well if you want. Again, you get the three pedals. You get loads of sounds. There's 692 sounds on here. There's 430 styles. So styles are your rhythms and backings. There's a 403 internal songs already built in, and you can add to that. And you can also have it reading your own phone. You need to watch the video if you're interested in something that's a little bit different, that gives you smart features, that you connect to your iPad or your tablet, or it can be Android as well. We've got videos on those on our Rimmage Music website. Have a look at that, because there's quite a lot to tell you about it in detail. So what happens when you go to the CSP 150 to 170? Well, again, you get everything the 150's got but you get a better key action. It's got a natural wood X. Basically, it's got the wooden keys and a better speaker system. So it's also got what they call a speaker box. What is that? It just makes the sound better. So from the CSP 150 to the 170, they're identical in the number of sounds, identical in the number of them. And uh, what you're gaining is a better key action, a much better speaker system, which then makes the whole sound better as well. So that's the Clavinova Smart piano so csp 150 and 170. the next range they do um, from yamaha is the cvp range that stands for clavinova versatile piano so like the smart pianos these pianos have rhythms and accompaniments in it the difference is is they have screens built in so on the 7 on it's 
it's a smaller screen than the next range is after that. It also, that one's been out a while, so this one may well drift out of the range because they have a new 8 series out. So this is a CVP701. So basically, that is like um, a CSP150, for example, uh, but you've got a little screen built in as well. And you also have lots of buttons already on it. So it's like a crossbreed between what you may call a Yamaha keyboard and a, and a digital piano where that can have all your keyboard features that you get on a, a workstation keyboard with rhythms and accompaniments. You can play songs. You can see the, you can see the music up on screen. Uh, but you've also got great piano sounds and lots of others as well. I mean, this has 777 sounds on it. Uh, and they really are good. It's got binaural sampling. It's got the um, the CSP and the the Boston Dolphin samples in there as well. So that's a 701. But well, I like, like I say, I think this one will eventually drift out of the range because they have the H series out now. The CVP 805, 809, 809 GP are an agency product that we sell on behalf of Yamaha. So we're quite proud to be an elite uh, agent for these. And the, the fabulous, brilliant screens, nice touch screen display as well that you get on the CVP 8 series. So it's a touch screen, a bit like your iPad or your, your Android pad. And what do you get on here? Well, you've got 1,315 sounds. Let's just strip it back to the, the piano. You get a better key action here. They have a slightly longer key on the CVPs. So it, it's, a, it's a more balanced action and feels absolutely superb. You've got loads of rhythms and completes to go at. You've got memories to store sounds in. So everything I've said previously all applies to this, but just be but just better and a touch screen and a better and a better uh, speaker system. So we've got the eight or nine. This is probably the most popular CVP in this range that we sell because you get an absolutely fabulous key action. There's super articulation sounds in these as well. What are they? Well, they're the better quality sounds that they use to create. Um, effects so it's, it's difficult to explain really what you need to do is what if you're interested in a cvp and you like the idea of it being uh, you can play it as a piano brilliantly or you can have all these extra features watch my videos on these because these are just an amazing product and that's why they call them clavinova versatile pianos you can plug microphones into them and sing through them and get a, a harmonizing effect for example on your voice you can have words going up on screen you know like a karaoke you can use it like a karaoke player you can play along whilst it's playing a backing track, it's superb. So that's the CVP 809. So what's better about the 809 GP compared to the 809? It's in a grand piano. So look at that, beautiful. Nice grand piano finish. You've got the room, you can afford one of these, you won't regret it. It's absolutely brilliant, sounds fantastic. It's available in polished ebony or polished white. So that's the CVP range. I've only literally just give you an absolute glimpse of what these can do. But you need to, if you're more interested in, go to the Rim of Music website. We've got videos and images and the full details on each one. Now, so the next range after that is the Avant Grand. So what's an Avant Grand? Right, well, Yamaha have made what they call hybrid pianos. So what are they? They're a digital piano with a real acoustic piano hammer action in it. So in the NU1X, what you get there is you get a real acoustic upright hammer action that Yamaha produced and it's inside there with a digitally produced sound. You get 15 sounds, you get 245 watt amplifiers and, and a great speaker system and it looks more piano -y. So, So who's, there, who's that aimed at? Well, that's aimed at somebody that doesn't want anything really other than really piano. You get some others, you know, like piano and, and that sort of thing, but they might be, it might be aimed at the person that you think, well, what I want really, what matters to me the most is I want a piano feel, but I want to be able to turn it up and down. I want to be able to plug headphones in. I've got neighbours next door that are going mad if I had an acoustic piano banging against the wall. So this appeals to that kind of person. So what they do is they do an upright version like this with an upright piano action in it. So nobody can argue saying, oh, that doesn't feel like a piano. Well, I'll tell you, it does, because it is a hammer action in it. That is an upright piano, an upright acoustic piano action. If you go to the next model up, um, like the N1X here, well, first of all, you can see it's, it's a, a really modern, unique look 
and it looks awesome. But you get a hammer action from a grand piano in there. So the other ones are not right, uh, acoustic piano action. This one is a grand piano hammer action. And it's got real Yamaha acoustic grand piano action in it. It's got spatial acoustic sampling. Br oh, the speaker system on that. My God, it's brilliant. Uh, it's got speakers at the top, underneath, all around it. And it just, it just sounds fantastic. And it looks beautiful. So what are you getting there? Well, you could do all your grades on that piano because it's a hammer action from a grand piano. So they usually say when you're doing your grades, I get people saying, well, what, which piano would last me forever? And um, well, the reason that one would last you forever is because on grade seven and above, if you went into an exam, you have to do it on a grand piano. So, so ideally you want a grand piano at home because the action goes up and just has to drop. It's the fastest response time you can get. So if you can't fit a grand piano in, then you need to compromise and you've got to get the best you can that will get as near to that as you can. Well, that doesn't need to get near because it is exactly that. So if you can afford one of these and you haven't got the space, um, that, that will see you through and the sound is superb as well. So as you work up from that to the N2, what do you gain on there? Well, it's got a slightly better key tops on it. It's got tactile response system, so, so what's that? Again, it's a slightly better feel, a slightly better sound. It's a different cabinet design, and it's a better speaker system. So the M1, N2, both a grand piano action. This is just, it looks different, it sounds a bit better, and just, it's a slightly, just a slightly better feel to it. When you get to the N3X, what are you getting there? Well, you're getting something that looks basically like a, a baby grand piano now, and it's, it looks absolutely beautiful and it, it plays great. So that is as fast as I could possibly do it. I'm sorry it's taking such a long time, but it's as, probably as fast as I could do it, talk you through the Yamaha range. So Yamaha YDP, Yamaha Digital Piano, entry level pianos, great, feel okay. The YDP S are the slim versions. You get to the Clavinova CLP, they're regarded as their better range, starting with the 725 and plays great, 735 gives you a lot more, 745 you could then got Bluetooth and wooden keys as well and above is fantastic. Come off the CLP range, you go to CSP, you've got Clavinova Smart Piano, which have uh, functions where you can connect it to your iPad, and they do a 150, 170, basic difference, better wo uh, wooden keys on the 170 and it's a better speaker system. CVP, Clavinova Versatile Piano, really only be looking at the 8 series, 805 and 809s. Uh, again, way, way up the range, better speaker system, uh, better key feel and a, and a different design. Then, uh, in addition to that now, the Avant Grand Range, which are real acoustic piano uh, actions inside them. So the NU1X uh, is an upright piano and then the N range above that are all a grand piano action. So hopefully you found this uh, useful help and uh, thanks for watching. They're all available from our Rimmers Music website and in our Rimmers Music stores. So that's rimmersmusic.co.uk and I hope you find this useful. If you've liked it, please can you press like and share it and uh, don't forget to come to our stores and, and, and buy off us online. We'd love to see you. All the very best and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.